thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, anyone from uh, SM Union? Uh, of course, you are. I planted you there. Um, yeah, the, for my first joke, I was a bit uh, hesitant to do it because you know, it contains a bit of uh, sexual imagery. But uh, then I met Miss Hooch here, and uh, she just convinced me to quit being such a bitch and tell the joke. So here's to Miss Hooch and an epic night of comedy, guys. Right, so I came across this video on YouTube, and um, it's a two second video, and uh, all it says is a guy going like, a booyah! And you know, since I have nothing better to do in life, I go around posting it on people's statuses on Facebook. So, for example, I bought a new shirt, a booyah! Today my dog gave birth, a booyah! I just found out my girlfriend was a dude. A booyah! You know, the usual. So, this once I posted it on um, a friend of mine's uh, status, and uh, she's a, like a really goody two shoes kind of girl. So, like, you know, like if you said fuck in front of her, she'd be like, uh -huh. <laughs> So, you know, that, that's the sort of person we're dealing with here. And um, she, she didn't know what booyah meant. But uh, so she went to Google it, and what she Googled was a booyah, as in A H B O O Y A H. So, the thing is, under, in, and you can do this right now, I'm not making this up, you can check it out right now. If you were to Google a booyah, and uh, under urbandictionary.com, obviously, the definition of a booyah is the sexual act of dipping your balls into a very stretched asshole after anal sex, and, <laughs> and then screaming, a booyah! <laughs> Used in a sentence, after rough anal, Jack performed a devastating abuya on Jill's anus. <laughs> and the devastating is spelled wrongly. Right? So, um, this is a girl who gets scared when, you know, when you use shit like fuck and all that. And she read that, and then the next day, she showed it to me, and I was like, What have I done? It's like, innocence gone in three, two, and gone. So. Eventually, I cleared her, cleared it up with her, and like you know, I told her, "Hey, this is what booyah actually means. It's not. I'm not saying that I'm going to perform. I'm not going to dip, dip my balls after having anal sex with you. That's not what I meant." Uh, speaking of um, girls who are really, you know, goody two shoes type, I had another friend of mine who just came back from uh, Philippines after doing a community service project, and um, she was showing me some of the photos, and I was like. Well, this is interesting. I saw a photo of her carrying a bucket of some white stuff and some white stuff on her face. And I was like, hmm, tell me more. And what the word she's looking for here is cement, but uh, good old Singlish came over and fucked it all up. So she was like, I was like, hey, what, what, is, what are you carrying in that? Oh, she's like, oh, it's just semen. <laughs> and I was like, you had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. <laughs> And, um, and then like, I started asking her more questions, so on and so forth, and I went like, hey, you know, tell me more, what, what, what's going on with this? And then she started telling me more and more stuff like, oh, you know, we were carrying semen, and it, it dropped on the floor, and it dried up, and some friends of mine were like throwing it at each other, like, we were having semen fights, and we're like, wow. And then she said one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. She went, um, hey, feel my arms. They're really buff now. And you know why? Because I've been carrying semen all day. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'd like to give a special shout out for my friends who are coming down, and I'd like to dedicate this to a wonderful lady, Isa, who's been like the best friend in the past few months. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>